welcome back to our third and final segment. We're still looking at solving circuit problem. Now we want to focus our attention on another circuit that obviously is different from the previous one. And as we've mentioned earlier that every scenario or every situation is unique in its own special way. So be careful with the familiarity thing to say, oh, I've seen this before. There is always something that would differ from what you are familiar with. But read the question with an intention to understand it before even attempting to respond. Now let's look at the, the, the last question, which says, in the circuit alongside, okay, the circuit is given, the resistance of the six volt um, battery and the connecting wires are negligible. So it means that this six volts is actually the EMF of the battery, okay? It's actually the EMF, okay? Because we, we are saying that the battery has negligible uh, resistance, so it doesn't offer any resistance to the current flow, okay? Switch S is closed, okay? There is our switch S. Uh, if it's the switch S is closed, uh, we are told that the current in the six ohm resistor is 0, 0,6 MPS, okay? So the current that goes to this uh, uh, resistor is equals to uh, 0, 0,6 MPS, all right? So is that the total current? Definitely not, because part of the total current goes to the four ohms, okay? And immediately we are thinking, oh, okay, four ohms is lesser than the six ohms. It means it will receive a current that there's some current that is greater than that of six ohms because it has lesser resistance. In other words, we are saying current for four ohms is greater than the current for six ohms. Why is this true? Because V across, uh, you know, four ohms, okay? is equals to V across six ohms. Why? Because the two resistors are actually connected in parallel, okay? The only thing that's gonna differ is the current because we're saying this parallel combination of resistor is actually a current divider. Now the question says, calculate the current passing through resistor X. Okay, we want the current that passes through resistor X, right? Okay, so now the question says to us, calculate the current passing through resistor X. We know that the current that passes through resistor X is actually the total current, right? So if that's the total current, which is equals to, so the current for resistor X is equals to the current that goes through six ohms, which we have, plus the current that goes through four ohms. Why? Because these two are actually connected in parallel, they are current dividers. So we can find the, 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 the voltage for six ohms, which is equal to the voltage across the four ohms, right? So V across six ohms is equal to the current across the six ohms, okay, uh, through six ohms multiplied by the resistance, okay? So the, the current for six ohms is not comma six, multiplied by six, okay? This will give us uh, typically, which is our V1. V1 is actually the V parallel, okay? So if we go to our calculator, okay, 0, 0,6 multiplied by six, right? Uh, it gives us uh, that value, which is 3,6 volts, right? So V1 is equals to 3,6 volts. In other words, V across uh, four ohms is the same as V across uh, 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 six ohms, which is V1, right? Now, we can then find the current that goes through four ohms. So the current that goes through four ohms, okay, is equal to V1, okay, divided by R, okay? So our current for four ohms, okay, the current that goes through four ohms is effectively equal to V1, we've managed to get that 3,6, divided by four, right? So the current for four ohms takes us to, if we go to our calculator, right? Uh, that is 3,6 uh, divided by four, right? Uh, this is uh, 0, 0,9, right? Which is the current that goes to through uh, four ohms. And you'd realize that um, 0, 0,6 is for six ohms and then 0, 0,9 is for four ohms, and it says to us, four ohms has lesser resistance, that's why it gets greater current. So the total current that goes through X is equals to 0, 0,9 plus 0, 0,6, which means the total current for X 
is equals to 1,5 NPS. So this is typically a multi-step type of a, a problem. Right, let's go to the follow-up question, which says, um, uh, calculate the current passing through the four ohm resistor. We have actually done that, okay? Uh, there are many ways to do it. So the current that goes through the four ohm resistor is actually equal to the voltage across the parallel combination, which is the same as the voltage across six ohms, which is actually V1, okay? Um, divided by that resistance. So we got that uh, resistance, uh, that voltage to be 3,6, okay? So that voltage is 3,6. So the, this is 3,6 volts, okay? So if that is 3,6, which is exactly the voltage across three, uh, four ohms, all right? Okay, so this is equals to 3,6 divided by four, okay? This is what gives us uh, the current that, gave, that goes through four ohms, which is equals to 0 0,9 MPS, right? So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a simple thing. If the total current is equals to 1,5 MPS, and then the current that goes through six ohms is equals to 0 0,6 MPS, then the current that goes through four ohms is equals to the total current minus the current that goes through six ohms, okay? This will give us exactly that, right, okay? Moving along, well now we want the resistance of X, right? Resistor X is of unknown resistance, but we know something about V2, okay? Now, we know that the total voltage in this circuit, okay, V total is split between V parallel, okay, plus Vx. So this V parallel is your V1. So V1 is the voltage across the parallel combination of resistors. So if the battery has negligible resistance of six volts, this is the terminal potential difference, which means it's six is equals to, we've calculated V parallel, which is three comma six, right? And then uh, plus V across X, okay? So V, uh, v across X will actually be 2,4 volts, right? So that's, that's, that's what we know already but we want to calculate the resistance. We know the total current passes through um, resistor X, okay? So R X is actually equals to V, okay, two div divided by the total current uh, in the circuit, okay, which goes through resistor X. So R X reduces to, what is our V2 in this case? Our V2 is 2,4, okay, divided by the total current in the circuit, which is 1,5, okay? Then we can take that to our calculator. Okay, it's a three mark question, formula substitution and answer. So it's 2,4 uh, divided by 1.5, okay? Okay, then we need to divide that. Okay, let's delete. Divided by 1,5, okay? It's actually 1.5, okay? Make sure that the, 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 the values that you enter is correct. So uh, the resistance of resistor X is actually 1,6 ohms, right? So resistor X is, is a resistance of 1 comma, uh, just to confirm that, 1,6 ohms, right? 1,6 ohms, that's the magnitude of resistance, right? Okay, so there are uh, also many ways of actually doing this, okay? but this is one of the obvious one. And then the last question says, uh, the four ohm resistor gets hotter, okay? Think about energy, okay, than the six ohm resistor uh, after a while, okay? Explain this observation. Why does the four ohm resistor get hotter? We have re discovered that if two resistors are connected in, you know, in, in, in parallel, you know, the, the one that has got the smallest resistance receives the most current. As a result, this, if, if, if the four ohm resistor and the six ohm resistor were light bulbs, which one of the two will burn brighter? If the actually, the one that's gonna burn brighter is the four ohm resistor. What does it mean? It means that this four ohm resistor actually transforms a lot of electrical energy compared to six ohm per unit time. As a result of that, it, it, it gets hotter and hotter. This is a, a question that actually relates to something about power. So think about power in terms of I squared R, 
So if you're saying the power of a, of a, that is dissipated by a device equals to the square root, square of current times the resistance. So remember, the one that has got the smallest resistance will actually bend brighter, meaning that it transforms a lot of electrical energy into other forms per unit time, which explains why the four ohm resistor will actually get warmer quicker than the six ohm by comparison. Okay, so these are some of the, you know, the concepts as an example uh, you know, you, we, that we used in, in trying to address how we solve problems. We certainly hope that, uh, you know, the, the discussions are fruitful and you try and uh, locate the concepts and understand how these, you know, ideas that we discuss in isolation, how they come together and we can apply the right strategies, you know, use the data sheet, you know, uh, you know, uh, also get some confidence in as far as answering the multiple choice because this requires a lot of practice, you know, until we kind of get used to it. So because of time constraints, that's all that we have for today. From myself, it's Jason. Bye-bye for now.